What's up, barbecue crew? Welcome back to Outdoors with Jeff. Today, we're keeping it simple with a great rack of St. Louis cut spare ribs. So for me, it's officially grilling season when I really started digging the ribs. And I'm gonna be having a few rib cooks coming up here over the next few weeks. So this is the first in the series. We're going to be seasoning these with the jank. It's a all purpose rub that's got a lot of good flavors in it um, from Texas. It really has a nice mix and it's pretty healthy too. I mean, you look at it, it's gluten free and it has no MSG as well. After that, when it comes time to sauce these, we're going to use Williamson's Brother Barbecue Sauce. It's a really good sauce here. You don't have to add anything to it. Local product here from Georgia. We're going to be cooking these spare ribs on the Wrangler and we're going to get a bed of coals in the firebox first. And then we're going to alternate between post oak and hickory wood splits. We're going to maintain the temperature of between 250 to 275 degrees and we're going to be cooking for probably about four hours today. But enough talking, let's get to the cook. So I've already trimmed and removed the membrane on the back of these St. Louis ribs. And I'm just going to go ahead and get down the jank rub. And I'm not using a binder. I'm just going to put the rub down and let that soak into the meat. And I'm going to do the same on the top of the ribs as well and just make sure you get a good coat on there. And I'm going to make sure I get the sides of the ribs as well. And this is what the ribs look like after resting for about 15 minutes. You can see our temperature is at 275 steady on the Wrangler. So it's time to go ahead and get these ribs on and be sure and bunch them up exactly how you want them to cook because that's the form they're going to take. And you can see we got some nice color on the rub and that's gonna give us a great bark. Yeah, we're gonna let these things roll for one hour. So an hour is up and you can see we're starting to get some really, really good color on there, starting to get a bark to form. And I'm gonna give it a little bit of moisture with a mixture of apple cider vinegar and water. So at this point, I'm just gonna let these cook for an additional hour and get some good smoke from that post oak log that we have in there. And another hour is up and we're starting to get a really good bark to form. And you can see we're starting to get a little bit of pullback. So it's time to go ahead and take these ribs off and I'm going ahead and getting them in the wrap. So in this wrap, I just put in some butter, some of the seasoning and a little bit of the apple cider vinegar and water mixture. And here I'm pulling off some of that bone blood that you see, and I'm wrapping that in two sheets of foil so we don't have any tears. And we're just gonna go ahead and get these back on the smoker, meat side down, and let them cook for another hour. and another hour is up and this is what we're looking like we're starting to get some good pullback on the bones these ribs weren't as tender as i want them to be so we're going to go ahead and continue with the cook and wrap them and get them back on and let them roll for another hour and after four hours we're probe tender we've got a good speckled color on the bone and these things are done you can tell by the way they look, by the way they feel, and by temperature. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and pull these off and we're gonna get a glaze on there with the Williamson Brother barbecue sauce. We're gonna get a nice even coat on here, paint these things up nice. And then I'm going to come back and I'm gonna add a little bit of the jank rub to the top of this. And we're gonna get this back on the smoker and let this run for an additional 15 minutes. And this is what we end up with. Okay, we're done. Another cook in the books. Let's have a quick recap of what we did. We started with a slab of St. Louis cut spare ribs and we seasoned them with the jank dry rub. We got it on the Char Grilla Wrangler. We we're running at about 275 degrees and we we're running post stove 
and hickory splits for the cook. We cooked for two hours and then we took the ribs off and then we wrapped them and then we got them on and we went for about another two and a half hours. And then we took the ribs off and we glazed them with Williamson Brothers barbecue sauce. And here we are. So let me tell you, this cook has been a great cook. I mean, this thing's been smelling great on that uh, grill out there. And I'm ready to go ahead and try these. Um, this right here, this the Jank Rub is a rub from Texas. And a good friend of mine, Brandon Carpenter, has a channel called BKC Cooks. Does a lot of cooking, a lot of grilling. You should check them out. I'll be sure I'll put a description up here. But um, really good really good rub. Uh, I'm going to use them on a lot of things, but at this point, I'm just ready for this taste test. So let's dig in. Mm. Look, you know, it's good when there's not almost anything left from the taste test. That's a good rib. You can taste, definitely taste the post oak and the hickory. Um, really got that good offset taste. With as small as that grill is, you still get that offset taste on there with that natural aspiration from the firebox through the grill, out through the chimney. Really a different flavor than what I get, say on my 980, um, which is fan driven. But really great rib, a lot of good flavors. This rub is excellent, has a lot of good notes to it. And the Williamson Brother sauce, again, came through. Uh, really nice really nice topping to kind of take this to the next level but hey thank you for watching that's all i got be sure and leave a comment below and let me know what you thought of the cook all right guys thanks for watching this episode of outdoors with jeff be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications when more content comes out and also check out these videos here on the channel as well